Good morning and welcome to Hunky Dory TV Crafters. Uh, my name is Daniel Newhouse. I will be your host for the hour. Uh, today's a very special day. Do you know why? Because Hunky Dory Crafts is 12. It's our 12th birthday. Isn't that lovely? Yay! Shall we celebrate, Sheila? Yeah. Let's celebrate. Yeah. Woo! In, that's all we're allowed to do in this social, <laughs> social distancing. That's it, that's it, that's all we've got. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, 12 years old, that's amazing. We're almost yeah. a teenager, Sheila. We are. <sighs> scary, it's gonna be scary next year. It is, yeah. <laughs> Let me introduce you to who I'm on the show with today. Uh, we have Emily producing the show. Say hello, Emily. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. And at our demonstration station, rumor has it that she has a year's supply of construction glue in each and every one of her kitchen cabinets. <laughs> She's addicted to that construction glue, she is. I'm starting to wonder whether you are the reason why our construction glue was out of stock for so long, <laughs> Sheila. And should we be checking her handbag as she walks out each day? That's what I'm asking. Let me introduce to you the glue that holds us all together, Sheila Halliwell. Oh, thanks. Hello, everybody. Nice. Hello, Sheila. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. It was, it was nippy this morning, wasn't it cold? <gasps> yes, it was. It was eight degrees when I came out of the house. It but said on the car thermometer. This is a good thing, though. This is good. We're excited, aren't we? Because Daniel and myself adore winter. So we we're, do. My scarves are already hanging up by the door. Ready. Are they really? Ready yeah. to use? My gloves are, my mittens are on the string. And yeah. Can I ask you, <laughs> mittens? <laughs> do you wear gloves in the car? I, I wear them to the car. Even though it's do like the, six steps do from you the really? door. Yeah, I put them on and go, oh, it's cold. Get in the car, start it off and then go, I better take them off. I bought some driving gloves um, oh. once. <laughs> Honestly, leather driving gloves. I don't know what happened. Yes, it was the beginning of my midlife crisis. And I thought, yeah, I thought, oh, these are really good. I tried them on. And then I realised after a while, they're quite small. And actually, they look like ladies' gloves. And I think I bought some ladies' driving gloves. And, Did you? Yeah, and I've got really big hands. So they only came to about oh, here. Really? It was not a good oh look. It was my. not a good look. Uh, anyway, <laughs> guys, uh, what is going on today? So it is our 12th birthday. Um, whether you call it anniversary, whether you call it birthday, create and craft, call it anniversary. Um, and we are celebrating. Um, so how are we celebrating? First things first, we are going to give you some money off. Every order on our website. Um, we decided, what should we give money off, Sheila? Everything. everything. Absolutely everything. So there's a code just come up on screen here. Birthday 12. On our website for this whole week, if you use the code BIRTHDAY12, you pop it into the checkout, you will get 12% off, 1% for each of the years that Hunky Dory Crafts has been around. Isn't that lovely? Um, guys, that is on top of, on top of your customer discount. So if you are a classic member in our, in our uh, Club Hunky Dory Club, you get 5% off already. That means that with your 12%, you get 17% off anything you choose. Ooh. I love that. If you are a Platinum member and you subscribe to our magazine, you get 22% off. <gasps> it's crazy. It's mad. It's crazy, Sheila. It is. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't know where I'm from, but it's crazy. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Uh, guys, so should we take a look at what is coming up on today's show? Okay, so uh, we're going to be showing you today our brand new decoupage books. These launched at the weekend. Uh, Pauline launched them on Create and Craft and they have been ever so well received. We're, uh, we're looking forward to showing you and we'll be able to show you through each and every sheet, which is lovely. We are going to do something for the men demo. Ooh, Ooh, what will that be? <laughs> I don't know. Um, we're going to look at the Hunky Dory headlines and then we're going to do some more decoupage demos. I have a feeling that we will do a demonstration for each and every book, which is great. Yes. Uh, okay. You all know what we do. On a Monday morning, we do our Win It Weekly. This week, we have something very, very special. Let's take a look. Okay, we're not gonna run the little VT, but we're instead <laughs> gonna show you. Well, that was smooth, hey? Happy, happy birthday, Sheila. Happy We've, birthday. Emily's been on the VODs already. VODs? Do we, we, don't, we don't start on the hard stuff, do we? I don't know. Sorry, Emily's been on Bucks Fizz because it's the morning. <laughs> Guys, Win It Weekly. Okay, so we are doing very, something very, very special for our Win It Weekly as I jump about a little bit. I do apologise. Um, okay, did you see that massive cornucopia of crafting goodies? Let's take another look. Okay, so in here, every week we do, uh, we, every show even, we add a product to our prize rollover. 
That prize rollover has not been won in ages. We, um, we, it's one of the little segments on our spin yep. the wheel, isn't it, for, um, that we do on a, on a Friday, every Friday. It hasn't been won in ages. And we said, do you know what? It is time to give this away. There is over 300 quids worth of goodies here and somebody is going to win it this week guaranteed in our Win It Weekly competition. So, oh, I love that. Doesn't that look good? Oh, the rollover box. It's amazing. Yeah, the rollover Isn't that brilliant? Box. Yes. There is going to be one winner. Often there are, there are four winners, two winners, three winners, four winners. In our Win It Weekly, there's going to be one winner this week. That's it. One winner wins the lot. Takes it all home. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Everyone else, BFH. Bus fare home. That's all yeah, they get. Yeah. <laughs> like, share and comment. We would love you to like our video, share our video and comment. Um, Hunky Dory Craft is now 12 years old, but... How old is adorable scoreable? Oh. I won't lie to you, this tricky. is tricky. It is tricky. Because time flies, Sheila. It time does time fly, flies. yeah. Is it A, four years old? Is it B, six years old? Or is it C, eight years old? How old is adorable scoreable? Adorable scoreable is our award-winning cardstock uh, that does not crack. It does not feather when you score it with our adorable scoreboard. It's guaranteed not to. Um, and it is, it's been won many awards, has been the, yeah. the premier cardstock um, in, in the world, nonetheless. Yeah. Um, so how old is adorable scoreable? Four, six, or eight? Any ideas, anyone? You can't give it a... Do you know? Does anybody in here know? I actually don't know. No, you don't I, know? I don't oh. know either. I'm, gu I'm guessing, I'm guessing, but I'm not going to tell you what I'm guessing because that m people might think I do know and I'm just trying to either put them off the scent or make them guess the wrong thing. So, uh, Shall we all go for a different one? Know. I'll say four. I'll go six. Well, well there's only one less. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Here's what you do. You like, share, and comment. Okay, so I do believe we're not 100% sure that you can, can, can comment on the hub, because you can normally comment on the hub. Is that right, Emily? We don't know if that's up and running at the moment. Um, we've got a problem with, with um, uh, putting the, the question on there. It might be on there later on today. Is it on there? It's on. Yeah. It's on. Oh, that's good news. Yeah. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. Okay, um, so like, share, and comment, and um, please let us know. Uh, um, the more times, Emily said to me before, she said, Dan, make sure that people know the more times that they comment this week, the more chance they will have of winning that Ooh. prize. You've got to get the answer right. Yeah, you've got to get the answer right. But the more times that you comment, the more interaction, the more chat, yeah. the more likely you are to win that prize. Uh, the winner will be chosen and we will let you know a Friday at 10 a.m. on our Thank Craft It's Friday uh, show, which um, I do believe is myself and Natalie, I think. And we're going to be showing you some new Miri, which is really exciting. So <gasps> we've been waiting for that one, haven't we, Sheila? We have indeed. Yeah. We absolutely have. OK. Um, so, without further ado, uh, let's look at our decoupage pads VT. Okay, let's take a look at our pick of the week then. So our pick of the week this week is our brand new Decoupage Books Multibuy. It is £28.77 and it contains all three of these Decoupage Books that are normally £11.99 each. So there is a saving of 20%. Um, these little, uh, these fantastic Decoupage Books. So this is um, the latest, it's our third launch of the Decoupage Books. It is volumes seven, eight, and nine. Uh, inside these gorgeous books, you get 72 sheets, uh, which make 48 fully layered, oh, sorry, I've got it in the wrong place, there we go. 48 fully layered decoupage designs, which are absolutely lovely. Now, what I've done here is, because you don't want to see three of every single one, I have taken one of each out, and I can show you them singularly. Singularly, mm. easy for me to say. <laughs> Okay, so this is our Manly Moments decoupage book. This is the first one that we're looking at. It is volume number seven. Um, Unky Dory have taken the difficulty out of uh, traditional decoupage here because not only have we given you, um, as traditional decoupage used to be, the, the main topper, if you will, but also all the step-by-step -step elements that you need to be able to build up and create this lovely uh, depth and dimension. So you just simply trim these away from their backing sheets and you layer them up from the largest to the smallest 
uh, to create that lovely 3D decoupage effect. And we'll, have, we'll take a look at some of the cards in a minute. But these are the designs, aren't they beautiful? It says man, manly moments, but it's not just, they're not just for men, are they? No, I think they're for everybody, a lot of them, aren't they? Hot air balloon there, isn't that lovely? I came up with an invention once, it was a cold air balloon, but it never really took off. Oh, oh, oh. gosh, I, I knew there was one coming somewhere. <laughs> isn't that bad? Tractor, love the tractor, and there's Let's Go The Right Way, there we go. That's lovely, isn't it? Very so vintage. the bike there, so yeah, yeah, so there's some vintage ones, there's some country inspired ones here. Um, all the decoupage. The decoupage is all numbered as well. You get sentiments in here and you get some borders in mm. here. So if you if you see on this one, we'll go the right way, yes. Uh, so you have the train at the bottom. That's lovely, isn't it? And that beautiful plane there, biplane. Isn't that lovely? Mm. Can I go the right way? Was it that way? I think it was that way. There we go. And then all the individual sections. Aren't they lovely? This is brilliant. Fabulous. So perfect for men, perfect for, some of these are perfect for the older gentlemen in your life as well, I think, aren't they? Some classic cars there, some lovely vintage cars. Yeah. Is that the uh, Ford Escort there, Mark I, 1? Do you I know think? what, I don't, is that the Mark 1? Yeah. It could be. Yeah, yeah, it I was a Roman be. that was out, yeah, so Mark 1. Mark one. Seen them all, Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3, Cosworth and all those things. <laughs> she knows a lot of boys called Mark, doesn't she? Um, I don't think, we, we, won't discuss, we won't discuss that. We won't discuss that any further. Um, tell me later. Okay, uh, look, at, look at this gardening. Isn't it lovely? So you're going to get three of every single sheet that I'm showing you. These are all in that lovely pad that you saw at the beginning. Isn't this brilliant? And this is just one third of our pick of the week. Three of every single sheet. Isn't that fantastic? So there's football in there, there's rugby in there. So there's a real wide uh, variety of designs in here. Really, really nice. So you still get the relaxing part of sitting there cutting out um, but you don't have to make the decision as to what you cut out. Now it's up to you which layers you use or how many layers you use. It's completely up to you. Um, and if you want to make a quick card, of course, you can just mm. use the topper. Um, no reason at all why not. This artwork's lovely, isn't it? There's the, the wine and the ships. Isn't that pretty? And the last one there. Okay, so that is our first book. £11.99 uh, contains 72 pages that make 48 of these gorgeous decoupage designs. Shall we go over to Sheila at the demonstration station and she will show you what can be done with our wonderful wares. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're going to start off with the very last one that you just showed there uh, Dan which is the one with the um, the pile of um, what looked like novels with the glasses with the um, the quill and the lovely teacup on, on the top as well. I think it's really nice. Again, even though it's in manly moments, I think because we've got the pretty teacup there, you could do this for maybe um, a lady or maybe a, a teacher reti for retirement, something like that. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, wouldn't it? It would work either way because we've got a kind of um, pinky, peachy tones in there as well. So it's really nice. So what I've done, I, I cut it out this morning. I looked at the colours on there and I thought, right, let's have a look at what we've got in our adorable scoreable collection. So as you know, we are um, promoting still our fabulous uh, new collection of a patterned adorable scoreable, which we launched about three weeks ago. I want to say three, four weeks maybe. Um, so what I've done, I've looked at the colours. I've gone, oh my goodness, this is perfect because we've got this lovely teal colour in here. Um, well, then we're going to tie in a piece of our regular adorable scoreable and then also we're going to use a piece of our fabulous um, matastic um, paper and wood cardstock with the script on. This is perfect, it, it just goes together so nicely. So I'm going to build up some of the layers, I've cut a couple of layers and I've also cut some of the border strips but I'm not going to use all the layers and I want to do a couple of little extra bits. So if I show you the page here you will see um, how many layers we have here. So we've got um, we've got one, two, three, like kind of basic big layers. And then we've got 4A, 4B, 4C, and then 5A, 5B, and then 6. Now the good thing about this is, if you're not familiar with decoupage, that you have to cut yourself. The idea behind this is where we put A, B and C, you might think, okay, well I can put these on later. Because of the way some of them overlap, you are best to follow where the um, the letters go. So follow the letters alphabetically so that you can get them all in the right place. However, as Dan said, you don't need to use all the layers and we're not going to use all the layers here. I'm just going to use a few of them. So what we'll do first of all, I've cut my layer number one and this is going to stick on top. Now when we um, get these here in um, 
hunky dory once they get back from the printers and we get them put in the pad they start coming through we start to dish them out and we all take turns in cutting them because as you know i think some of us here well me in particular have come a bit become a bit lazy actually because we do our beautiful foiled and die cut decoupage which has made life um, in the craft world so much easier because basically all we need to do is pop the bits out stick them on so if you're um, needing to do cards in a hurry um, it means it's perfect um, you can do that but you know the art of decoupage is actually meant to be quite calming I think oh it's lovely you know I think it's very relaxing I think so yeah. and I think the um, we tend to get like the sheets come through from the machine and um, we don't always have them in pads, so we just get them printed out. We get them, you know, given to us, and we start prepping with them and making projects and things. When they actually come to you with um, the covers on and the the backboard, they're, they're so they are so lovely to feel. The actual pad in your hand is amazing. It's wonderful, um, isn't it? It is. And what I particularly love about it is I really like um, the fact that we've got them numbered. Now we are in life at the moment. I think because we have internet, you know, we we tend to look up everything on there. We don't go to the library quite as often. If you know, a lot of libraries have shut. Um, so I think it's got that oldie world element. If you went to look for some uh, books by Charles Dickens or you know whoever, and any of the great authors, they would all be numbered and they would all be in a collection on a shelf. And I think... I love that. The loveliness, that's part of the loveliness of this decoupage is that they are all numbered and you can put them on a shelf. So it's almost like going back to the old way of, you know, of boot binding and then putting them on the shelf and, and taking care of them and then going, yeah, it's it's in volume number six. Oh, I remember that one. It's in volume number eight. And um, it's, it's I collecting just love that. as well, isn't it? Of and course I love it collecting. Is. People do love collecting. Yeah, and I think it's nice as well to um, kind of, um, how can I say, to put them on shelves in like whether you've got a room where you read on, on your shelving unit or your bookcase or whether you want to put them in children's rooms to show them this is how, mm. you know, how books originally were. They were all numbered. And Guys, all put let, in order. let us know. Do you collect anything? Do do any of you um, uh, have anything that you collect? I collect two things. Uh, I collect Transformers, original Transformers from like 1980s, which I know might seem a little strange. Just looks like I'm playing with toys, to be honest. It's um, anyway. So I collect those, and I collect fragrances. So different um, do you uh, really? aftershaves. Yeah, yeah. So I've got quite quite a big collection. Do you collect yeah. anything, Sheila? I have. Um, no, I have. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. Should we not have asked this? <laughs> no, no, this is this is totally clean, but I know some of you are going to um, probably, you know, think of this in a different way. Um, I have a large collection of jugs. <laughs> yeah. You have a you have a large collection, collection of, jugs. of jugs. Yes, yes. <laughs> Excellent. So I have um some um like really old ones. I've got some really retro ones. I've got some, uh, you know, milk milk jugs, cream jugs, um, all different kinds. And I've got some really, really tiny ones. If I see them in a charity shop, I just go, oh my God, look at this jug, I have oh, to have it. Lovely. I've got glass ones. Um, I've got them all in the cabinet. Um, I also have quite a big collection of, um, well, not massive collection, but I like dolls. Oh, um, yes. I have different dolls. I've got um, like a, you know, a couple of dolls from overseas. So I bought a, a really, um, a really strange looking, but absolutely beautiful doll um, from Russia, which stands about 18 inches tall and has got jointed arms, jointed legs, jointed hands. Um, and it's uh, and it's amazing. It came in this really crazy red dress and it actually has a pair of Doc Martens on. Does Can you believe really? that? Yeah, oh, yeah, it cost fun. me a lot of money. Um, so fun. yeah, do, I like dolls and I like to collect like, Porcelain, china, glass jugs, things like that. Excellent. So we've got we've got some really interesting things that people collect. You know, oh, um, I do have a favourite. I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, okay. But Pauline Kirsten says she can see why all you ladies have nice nails to get the sticky backs off. It does help, doesn't it? Yes, and don't be fooled. I mean, these are not my real nails because um, I um, I've always bitten my nails. However, during lockdown, I did kind of stop biting them. And but they're still quite brittle, so you know, and I want them all to, to look neat, so 
These are fresh this morning, but it, honestly, nails. it does help. And they're not glued on, they're just sticky ones, so I can take yeah. them off afterwards. So. Diane yeah. collects postcards and fridge magnets. <gasps> um, yes. Lynn used to collect anything hedgehog related. Oh, really? That's nice. And I think my favourite so far, Emma Louise Salisbury, collects frog ornaments. <gasps> oh, Isn't that my, cool? that's really frog cute. And Agatha, yeah. Agatha Christie books. Uh, Teresa collects shoes. Um, nice, yeah. Uh, some people collect, um, oh, Kirsty Joanna has had many collections. She also, she also used to have transformations. Good taste. Thank you very much. Wow. She used to collect comics and Warhammer. That's ace. Really? Um, lounge fly bags are her current obsession. I don't know what those are. Lounge fly bags? I, it I, it oh, might I be me know. reading it. Not right. Uh, Elaine Ward, owls. Not real ones. Not real owls, of course. No. Uh, Shelley White, her husband collects Lego and he spent thousands of dollars. This <gasps> is the danger. Okay, so. Yeah. I was in... Uh, the I was posting some some letters the other day. I was in the uh, the post office, and just up on the side there was um, uh, there was some stamps. And you get stamps, not not like uh, just normal stamps, but but stamps. That they, I think it was a Sherlock collection, Sherlock set. Yeah. And I looked and I thought that looks really good. And then I thought there's going to be all sorts of sets of stamps, aren't there? And there are. They do these sets yes. and collections, yeah. And I thought. That I had to look away because I thought that is dangerous. If you go down that route, before you know it, you're buying stamps from years ago and everything. You got my dad used to do it. He had a penny black and a penny oh, red. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, yeah you've got to be careful sometimes because once you start, once you, start you can't, can't stop. stop. Yeah, it's tricky. It is tricky, and I think I mean, obviously, all of us, even though we don't use it all, a lot of us are collectors of craft stuff, mm. and I know we. You know, we buy it to um, to use, but a lot of us buy it to keep and to look at. And I mean, I'm terrible. I just buy all kinds of craft stuff. I mean, wool. I have. Oh my goodness, wool is ridiculous. And I don't know if that's actually if it, if I collect it or if I'm actually just um, you know obsessed with it. I'm I'm not sure to be honest. But yeah, it's um, it can be quite dangerous collecting things because you do end up. Um, with a house full of stuff and if like like me you've got no children then you think oh my goodness you know where's this all going to go gonna at go? the end of time you know I'm hoping that my nephews and nieces will come around and just you know I don't know what they'll do with it they might keep it they might sell it they might dish it out they might set fire to it who knows um, but yeah I'm thinking well you know somebody's going to have to sort through to this I, I won't know because I won't be here, so it's, it doesn't really matter, does it, to be honest, what happens to it. But as long as it's given me some enjoyment, that's fine. That's true. Elaine collects thimbles. She's got about, and I like oh, this, she's really? got about 400 and she's collected them for about 30 years. Now, that is commitment. That is commitment. And, you know, my mum collects thimbles and they're all over the place. And every time I've gone abroad, I've brought them back for her from wherever. My sister sends them to her from America. Um, it, I think it's a really nice thing to do, you know, you... It, especially if it's something like thimbles or something ornamental, where and a bit like you, Dan. Even though you've got transformers all over your desk, and and we know that if um, if True. if you're on a tight deadline or there's something um, kind of on your mind or bothering you, we can hear you uh, transforming them back from a transformer robot into a car or it's whatever. True. We, and and I know that you change them round, don't you? So you'll yes. put six or seven back in your unit, your and glass cabinet, and then you'll get different ones out. So. Um, it's it's quite. I think for a lot of people as well, it's therapy, isn't it? It's therapy. I think it's it is definitely right. therapy. Which is exactly what crafting is. Isn't absolutely it? yes. Yeah, one of the best um, kinds of therapy you can um, you can take part in. I think. I agree. So what have we done then, Sheila? Right. So what we've done is I want to do a, a couple of little other things with this. We have built up. I've just done three layers of the decoupage because if I bring my sheet back in here. You can use this, you can cut this out, you can put this one on top and you can put these on top as well. And we've even got some little ones here. But what I wanted to do was I went into the craft room and I thought, have we got a feather that is the same colour? And lo and behold, we have a feather um, that's exactly the same colour as the one in the picture. Um, so what I want to do, and um, I don't know if this will work, but my idea is here, is to... Take, you see we've got um, a bit of extra brown here on the um, paper. So what I'm going to do is just cut a little chunk out. And this was just a thought and I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to try it though. I'm going to try and make my own little quilt to oh, go on the card. Clever. Um, so again, just by using a bit of that waste paper that's on the page. And then just, I know that there'll be lots of crafters out there who've got feathers. 
Um, and this is it. It's because obviously that that little piece of paper, it's it's the co a colour that coordinates with it because we do that with the backgrounds, don't we? Yes, we do that so lovely edge-to-edge -edge printing. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. So if I, you can cut bits of your feather off if you want to, but you know what? It can be a nightmare that because once you start cutting um, feathers, it goes everywhere. And especially if you've got trouble with your, you know, your, your chest, you've got respiratory problems, um, asthma, things like that, you don't really want to be cutting the feathers up. It goes everywhere got allergies and things so if I was you I would just um, keep all that tucked in so what I'm doing now is I'm just rolling this bit of paper that I've covered in double-sided tape just so that we can get like a little quill effect um, and then we don't need to put the whole of that on what we're going to do now is just trim off that bit of paper I don't want it to be like a, you know, a proper quill would be with a, with a great big stem thing. Um, but if I just pull that to a little point there now. And so it looks like a traditional, isn't that isn't very Isn't it clever? cute? It's very cute, isn't it? And you could, quill, you could cut it down. You might have, um, you know, if you've not got feathers, go outside into your garden and I'll guarantee you'll find one. There'll there's, be one, yeah. There's feathers everywhere at the moment from pigeons. In, in the garden at home, we've got like um, two or three um nests i think of pigeons and the other day there were 14 young pigeons on the on the grass and i can tell that they're young because they haven't got the uh, the band around the neck yet so and they're they're lovely they are so lovely they are just oh i've not stuck that on let me stick that on what am i thinking um they are all over the grass and they're looking for for food and then mm. the parents are out with them but there were 14 the other morning when I got up really early. Wow. I counted them. So Well, you are an you know, early riser as well, aren't you, Sheila? I am, yeah, like getting up early. So we're talking half five sort of early, aren't you? Yes, yes. Wow. Yeah, I was up at 20 past five this Which morning. isn't easy if you're still awake at two. I was still awake at two, <laughs> yes. Um, I was thinking, oh my goodness, what have I got to do? Right, I've got I've got quite a busy week because I'm at telly a couple of times and obviously, um, you know, there's things to be done in, in the office as well. So I was thinking, oh my goodness. I'm going to be able to fit it all in. Of course I am. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to pop our little feathered kind of quill here. Just doing it with a bit of construction glue. And this then makes it kind of, um, you know, nice to send to a lady or a man. It's obvious what, what it is. So we know because it's next to the um, little pot there. But what I am going to do, I'm going to cut out the pot here from the little image at the bottom of the page and we're going to put that over the feather we're going to pop three little gems on and then we are done i love that sheila so we've been asked when the rainbow scissors will be back in stock it's between five and six weeks i'm afraid guys until the rainbow scissors will be back we have a lovely set of three rainbow scissors it's, it's absolutely beautiful they're absolutely beautiful um there might be I think I saw four or five in the box, you know, so I'll double check stocks. So they might go into stock for a very short period of time, but then go back out of stock again. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll double check, but the main stock comes in in five to six weeks time. <gasps> Excited. And you know what? I mean, I love cutting decoupage with um, like small scissors, but to be honest, I've been cutting this this morning with the big ones and they work really well. So try it. Um, if you've got the big scissors, try it, you might find it's easy for you. Right, are so are these the pearls? Do, these are the pearls because again we've got that look and this is a sepia collection so these are perfect colours to go on here. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a big one at the bottom here and then a medium sized one and then a little one at the top and then we are done with that one. And again I just like, I, I love filling cards up. This is a six by six card blank um, that we started off with but I really do just love piling stuff on um, and there you go we've got the little um, card there with the feather on it our own little handmade quill and we'll stand that Sheila, up front. I and love then you that. can see how oh well, look at it it's blowing you are in the absolutely aircon. right it's for a lady it's for a man um, it suits either it's absolutely beautiful well done thank Sheila thank you we need a little applause thing that um, uh, you know that applauds <laughs> well done well thank done you. Let me show you a couple more cards that have been made um, with our gorgeous Manly Moments collection. Okay, so we've got, there's the, uh, one of those lovely classic cards, and you can see there with the, uh, as I turn it to the side, the lovely depth um, that you get, and you get that slight satin look, perfect. 
Um, isn't that beautiful? Okay, that was made for us by Kelly Lloyd. Thank you very much, Kelly. Um, we've got one here that is the rugby ball. You can tell it's the rugby ball because it's the oval one, um, <laughs> which is good. And this one opens at the side as well, so it's a landscape card, which is very nice. I like that. That's very good. Uh, that was Lorian Archibald. Thank you very much. There we go. Perfect for Dad. Um, my father-in-law is a phenomenal, um, uh, what's the word? DIYer. DIYer. He's oh, very, he very good. Is. Anything that you need doing, he is. he is awesome and he's there. Uh, and he loves it as well. So and he's hoping for things to go wrong in people's houses, I think. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> never invite him round because things go wrong shortly after he's left because I think he's done it on purpose. Um, <laughs> I should not say that. You I'll be in trouble. He won't um, be coming round anymore. He won't come round again. Kirsty Hoskin. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for that. Um, there we go. There's that hot air balloon as well. And you can see the, there we go, the depth in it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So all of these were made with that lovely manly moments um, pad. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. That's really nice. Look at the depth on that. It's beautiful. That's incredible. So you don't need to make it as deep as that if you don't want to. Remember, our adorable scoreboard is perfect for making handmade card boxes so that you can send these in the post. Uh, and they won't get damaged, so they won't get squished or squashed. Okay, um, I'm very lucky today, and the reason I'm very lucky is because we, we are showing three books, and I've just been taking a look at the three books and the order that we're going to show them in, and I think I, I really like the Manly Moments one, one, and I should do because I'm a man, Sheila. I don't know if you realise. Yes. Um, I like the Manly Moments one, but I think I prefer this one. I prefer, or I have a favourite, um, and the final one I think is my favourite of all. So really? I think we're going in that order, which is really lucky for me. Yeah. Let's see which one is your favourite, guys. So this is the perfect planet. Now remember, um, this is part, can I just have the bundle back on for a second, uh, Emily? So I've just been doing some quick maths while Sheila was doing her, uh, her demonstration. £28.77, it says, for all three decoupage books. Now, with your club discount, that should come down to 27.33, and I do believe that if you were to take, use your birthday 12 code on it, £24.05 oh, for all three books. Oh, okay. That's like, that's eight quid each. It is. Isn't that brilliant? It so is. these are 11 99 but not today. Eight quid. Isn't that lovely? Uh, and that will last for this week, and then they will go back up in price, guys. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the Perfect Planet. So again, this is volume eight. Um, it's, it's our Perfect Planet decoupage book. Let's take a look. So, um, is it upside down? Of course it is. There we go. <laughs> um, we have Orcas. Um, it's a nicer name than Killer Whale, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and we have the dolphins there as well, which are absolutely beautiful. And now this will be upside down. Oh, that's the right way. Okay. And there's your Orcas and your dolphins. How beautiful. So as you can see, you get sentiments on here as well. You've got the wolves and you've got the panther there. Look at that panther. That's gorgeous, isn't it's it? It's amazing. I did this. Um, I cut this one out for one of the boards um, that we did for display on TV. And it was, do you know, it was lovely when it was done. The way the light is cast on the them, lights, and, and that yeah. one too, uh, like the night sky and the like moonlit night. It, it just works really well. It's beautiful. We've got penguins and we've got polar bears walking up a wall. Uh, it seems there. It's uh, very <laughs> steep, very steep, that, isn't it? There we go. You don't have to have it that way, guys. You don't have to. You can have it that way instead. That's beautiful. Um, polar bear's lovely with the, with the little polar bear pups. Um, there we go, the right way. We've got the zebras, two zebras, very much in love. Um, and, and lions also very much in love there, I think. Yeah. Which is good. We like a bit of love. Uh, okay. I nearly said we like a bit of animal love, but that sounds sounds all wrong. Um, we love uh, our animals, that's what that's we meant to better, say. That's better, Sheila. Happy Monday morning. Um, okay, we've got some under the sea ones with the tortoise there as well, which is lovely. So this is Perfect Planet. Um, it's all animals that we love and adore. Look at the stag and the horse. There's a lot Beautiful. of movement in that picture, isn't there? I just like the way as well they're so different, like that, like the stag goes back years. I know the horse does, but the horse image looks very of today, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Um, so you, you're getting that whole variation as well of the of like the styles and the era. Mm. I think I, I think there's a new Attenborough coming out, isn't there? Is there? I hope so. I, Ooh, I saw nice. something. Um, I saw so, yeah something. Look at that. Beautiful. Tiger and leopard. Oh. Oh, beautiful. And that is a leopard, guys. Definitely not a cheetah. Debs isn't sure about leopards or cheetahs. She doesn't know. She keeps on... I think she does it on purpose, to be honest. <laughs> oh, look at that lovely cheetah there. It's not a cheetah, it's a leopard! 
I think, I think the giveaway is when they run, isn't it? When they get up and run. Oh, cheaters, <laughs> truth, yeah. There we go. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Let me show you a few cards first, and then we'll go over to Sheila, and we'll see what she can do with this. So there's Ooh, that beautiful nice. tiger. Um, isn't that lovely? Isn't it lovely in the... Um, oh, here we go. ...as a circle as well. Isn't that brilliant? Okay, and that's a um, an easel card there. And that was Kelly, was it? It was Kelly Lloyd. Thank you very much, Kelly. Very nice. Uh, love that. Oops, I'll drop one on the floor. I do apologise. That's rich. There's all the colours in there. It's really rich. And you can see those little Nemos. That's that's really weird. When you turned it then, it was very three-dimensional. It was like there was movement under the sea, just looking at it on the screen. It's, those fish at the front now, when you turn Don't it... They? Are actually like real. <laughs> Isn't it brilliant? Yeah. And Emma Louise has done this one with the with the elephant. Look at the depth, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. And of course, yeah. we have the giraffes as well. Got no idea what deal what noise they make. <laughs> that's, Something like that's that. not yeah. what they make. Okay, oh. Sheila, let's go across to you and okay. see what you can do with our perfect planet decoupage book. Okay, so I went through um, the images in here and I was narrowing it down to three different ones because I just could not decide which to use. And I thought, you know what? I love um, every time I see a zebra, I, I just think it's it's like a unicorn. It's almost like a magic horse. Um, it, they are beautiful and so I thought right let's go with the zebra I love the image as well as, as you said Dan they look like they're actually in love so this would be great for a wedding for anniversary something a bit different what I've done I can see in the background there's lots of yellow so I've picked out I've gone with the yellow and thought right we're going to put yellow on here so we're doing a little bit of a mix so because the um, topper itself has actually got the inverted corners then I have taken my inverted corner punch punched my card and punched some adorable scorable and this is going to go on top of here so I'm going to build up the background first because that way the glue um, will be drying and then I can show you and explain why I did these colours and patterns and what I've used so again we're going with the construction glue so this is a 4 by 8 card um, you could use a DL if you wanted to there's just a slight difference in measurements of 4 by 8 and, and DL but there's, there's not much in it um, so you could still use DL as well then I've taken some yellow adorable scorable, so we've got black and then we've got yellow. So I'm going to put the yellow on first before we put some of our fabulous patterned adorable scorable that we launched a few weeks ago again. I adore that. I mean, you've used it in both so far, Sheila, and it just goes to show how versatile it is, the, um, the adorable scorable pattern packs. They're wonderful, aren't they? Oh, my goodness, yeah. I am so pleased. You know, we used to do them all the time when I first started um, working here. I was looking through some yesterday in my craft room at home. Um, like, the marble was the first mm. one. I saw that was just about to launch as I started like three years ago. Now those um, were all a hundred sheet packs. They now what were. we've done with the new Adorable Scorable pattern packs is the twenty-four sheet packs to try and make them a little bit more accessible to people price wise. Yes. Which I think is um, I think it's brilliant because you can get all different sorts and different varieties in there, which of is lovely. Of course, yeah. And of course you when you've got um like a hundred sheets, you don't always get through it. And then, so the smaller packs, I think, like you say, they're just exactly the same uh, quality and value. But again, it's nice to um, have, a, I feel like sometimes it's nice to get to the end of the pack and, and then go, right, now I can start on my Where's new my pack. Next pack. Yeah. yeah. So what we've done here, I've, I've looked at the colours again and I've chosen some of our um, blackened rose um, gold, which there's no gold foiling on, but what we've done is we've kind of foiled it. We've not foiled it, sorry. We've we've made it look like it's foiled, but it's not actually. So we've got the border that's on the deck bar sheet here. Cut it out. And again, we're going to start layering up some black and some yellow just to make that really stand out. And it's, I think it's rare that we ever do black and yellow in um, card making, really. It's a bit like grey and orange. It's, it's a bit more rare. We tend to go with purple, pink, silver, um, gold. It's... It's one of our rarer combinations for card making, I think. So then let's do it nice and bright. Okay, so we've got our first little um, base layer onto here. Now, a lot of you, I know, like me, you like to use your foam pads with your decoupage layers. But I think the beauty of these pads, unlike our decollage, is that it's not printed onto adorable, scorable cardstock. So with these, you've, it's, it's paper, so you've actually got a bit more kind of um, room for sculpting it and shaping it so that you might have more rounded areas of decoupage. It's, it's a really nice um, way of 
um, doing like traditional decoupage because you get that lovely um, option. Right, so what we've done, we've cut um, some of the layers out. Now, layer one here and layer two, just very ever so slightly, if at all. Um, so you can use one layer, you can keep the other. I'm going to put them all on because I just love um, the effect of, of getting that whole dimensional effect uh, and, and giving you the best kind of real realness about it. So let's just grab the backing off here. And then as we build it up, you'll be able to see. Um, and I think then these will stand out from the black and yellow because, again, the zebra is, is black and white, so it's going to pop out a little bit more. So let's get these layers on here. Um, they, this is a lovely image. It's so lovely. Because it's not like a drawn image, this. It's like a photograph of almost like of, of actual zebra. Um, so, or zebra, is it, is it zebras? Or zebra, zebras. I don't know, zebras, I think, I think yeah. multiple zebra is zebras, I think. I think it, yeah, I think yeah, it is, yeah. Emily, okay. while she was just layering up the, uh, the lovely zebras, can we take a quick look at our Win It Weekly question again? Um, and if we can, can we just jump to this gorgeous uh, pack shot of, um, isn't that incredible? So we've got th three, over 300 pounds worth of goodies here. Uh, that we're going to be giving away. Uh, win it weekly, there's one person is going to win all this. It's the rollover box. What we would like you to, uh, to tell us, Hunky Dory Crafts is now 12 years old, but how old is Adorable Scorable? Is Adorable Scorable four years old? Is Adorable Scorable six years old? Or is Adorable Scorable eight years old? Uh, either four, six or eight, you've got to let us know. You pop it there into the comments uh, and we're going to pick somebody from our comments on Friday at 10 a.m. And somebody is going to be the winner of this massive bundle, three over 300 quids worth of awesome Hunky Dory goodies. Um, good luck, everyone. Good luck, good luck. <gasps> My goodness, how exciting is that day going to be? And how excited if your name is drawn out of the hat and he was I would just be like on the floor if I won all that and I've probably got most of it but the fact that you're going to win it that's that's the excitement because you're in with a chance and as you said Dan the more times you like share and comment and the more chances you've got there's a mix of uh, of answers coming there's people there? saying lots of people saying six years and eight years not so many people saying four years so people think it's a little bit older yeah. um one of the ladies i can't see just who it was oh sarah Ann bird said it must be eight years because i couldn't possibly have accumulated as much cardstock <laughs> in less time <laughs> very good oh dear me it's funny isn't it it's uh, it, it's interesting Okay, so let's pop our little zebra face on there now. Now, the beautiful thing about this um, this one in particular is that we've got the um, we've got some sentiments here. We've got wild at heart. Now then, we've got some circular sentiments as well, and we've got some circular um, decoupage images. So have a look through your dies or your punches. You might be able to do a little bit of cheating and punch punch them out because we all have a bit of fear over the circles. Um, but definitely, definitely have um, you know have a look at if you've got something. Um, now, what I love about this as well, look at this. We've got the teeniest, teeniest. Um, if I pull it over here. The teeniest decoupage layer. Look at that with the little head. It's like the baby. Um, so again, you could use this as a as a you know a birth card. There's nothing stopping you. So what we're going to do? We've now got. I hope your birthday is filled with love. So I'm going to pop this over here so it doesn't impinge on that lovely um, image there. We are going to pop that one just down there. So it says, "I hope your birthday is filled with love." And we've got some zebras on there as well. We're going to put the I think we'll put the baby one on just because it's very cute. So we're going to take the little um, square pad and put that on the back. Okay. And we're going to put this over to this side here. I want it to just be here looking that way. And then we're just going to pop a couple of little gems on. So let's do some of our lovely black. Pearls. Sheila, we've had a brilliant little um, uh, message from Elaine Ward. She says, just a request, pretty please. When you announce the answer to the weekly question, would you also give the answer too? 
And Ooh. that's the first time that we've realised that actually we don't do that. We, we just don't tell people do. who's we won. Just we, go, you've we won. never My tell goodness, you. You've won. People never are still the sat there biting their fingernails at home. I don't know the answer. I know. I know. That's really funny. But okay, let's get this in the in the frame here in the shot. Uh, pull this a bit nearer to me. So you can see there, when we tilt it that way, those zebras really pop out of that um, rectangular base image that they're on. It's quite um, amazing how, look at those layers, and we've not put everything on there. I think there was one little bit left. But there's the card done in the black. I'll hold it up and then you can see it better. Done with black and yellow. I think it's really quite striking because even though it's quite busy and you've got that um, lovely background adorable scorable, it's the zebra image that actually shows up on there. And look how amazing they pop out. So dimensional, they're fabulous. Sheila, I love that. Right, I think now we are going to nip across and get some honky-dory headlines. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Hunky Dory Headlines. My name is Newsy McNewsreader. On Hunky Dory TV this week, we have four shows for you. Today, we begin the celebrations for Hunky Dory's 12th birthday, which will last for a week, and we have even planned an after party next Monday. <gasps> Of course, no more than six people will be allowed to attend the party and they must all be from the same household. <laughs> On Wednesday at 10, you can see Sheila and Natalie with the launch of our brand new birthday collection, Peony Promise. You'll like it, Pinky Promise. On Thursday the 24th of September, we have a very special Trolley Dash, a birthday event for you at 10 a.m. And on Friday at 10, we have some lovely new Miri Card specials. What a busy week. News just in. A lorry filled with onions has spilt its load all over the M6. Motorists have been advised to find a hard shoulder to cry on. <laughs> <laughs> we have a winner. Stock updates. All trim me inset pads are now back in stock, including the Christmas ones. The Essential Book of Sentiments is back in stock, uh, but not for long, I don't think. The Maptastic and Christmas versions are also in stock, but not many left. We've been asked for an update on Glimmer Mist, Silver, Gold and White. These will be back in stock by the end of, no end of November, end of October, uh, just in time for Christmas presents. In other news, a lady named Marge has been ill for so long that people have started to call her, I can't believe she's not better. <laughs> Marge. <coughs> Great and Craft TV, two new launches to tell you about. So we have a winner, a real winner. Uh, Great and Craft TV, two launches to tell you about. Uh, on Tuesday the 22nd of September, at 7.30 a.m., Sheila Halliwell will be on Creating Craft TV with our new Peony Promise collection. Shows will continue throughout the week with our adorable Pauline Wheeler, and then on Saturday the 26th of September at 9.45 a.m., you will get to see Sheila again with the new Pop-A-Topper pads. If you liked Whop-A-Topper pads, you'll like these. Now it's time for our thought of the week. When in doubt, just add glitter. Absolutely. And that concludes our Hunky Dory headlines for this week. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just doing a little dance here, doing a little bit of working out. Um, okay, I've got something else to tell you. It's not only our birthday. Uh, it's not only Hunky Dory's birthday, it's somebody else's birthday as well. A very special lady named Anne-Marie Catterall. <gasps> Congratulations, Anne-Marie, on your birthday today. I think she's 40 today, 42, is she? 44? No, she's 46? No, she's Any, 46, 48, I'll give you 48. 48, I'll give you 46. 48, 48, 20, 50, 50. 50. She's nearly 50. Congratulations, Anne-Marie, on your nearly 50th birthday. She's not, she's not, she's not. She's little, she'll be mad at me. People have been asking how Anne-Marie is. She's very, very well. I spoke with her last week. Um, not only that, she did say that she was going to be popping in at some point. I don't know when that is, um, but she's going to pop in. And I think she's going to pop in on a day when we're on. Yay! 
and she'll come and say hi. And I think that's absolutely lovely. So guys, you will, I'm sure, get to see Anne-Marie at some point soon, uh, see how she's faring. And indeed, um, we may get to see the little, the little bairn. We shall yeah. see. We don't know. We shall see. Cute. Um, OK, let's take a look at our third of our three little books. It's volume number nine. And it is under here. And I should have got it out earlier and didn't. There we go. Uh, it's our precious poppies decoupage book. Um, again, we've got 72 pages in here, and we've taken one of each out so that I can show you. Um, I'll move that out of the way. There we go. Okay, so we start off with these colors, and we've got poppies of all different um, shapes, uh, all different sizes, all different colors, and indeed with some of their other friends, because poppies are friends with other flowers, and they're not exclusive. Yes. Um, there we go. Absolutely lovely. Okay, so you have this mix. Again, you have, uh, we'll show you the main sheet each time. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Amazing. So again, you could use that one there as a, as a separate topper as well if you mm. wanted to, because you've got the base on the on the first layer. So you have the bases, and we'll always show you the bases first, um, and then you have the decoupage for each of those bases. That's a nice easy one to cut out there, it is, um, yeah. as you can see. And that is one of my favourite images we've got. That's uh, from our artist garden collection. Yeah, it's lovely. It's just really lovely because I love the sketchiness of it and the way we've got that kind of black and white area. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. While we're there, I'll just show you this. There we go. So that's a card that's been made with it, with the decoupage there, giving that lovely dimension. Um, so that you can see that the cat's in the background, the window's behind that, the flowers are at the front, which is lovely. Uh, and it's a little rocker, and it's my friend uh, Leanne who made it. Oh, and I'm doing you an injustice by doing a very bad job of rocking it. Sorry. Should we try again? Let's try. There we go. Oh, look, it's so nice. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. So, guys, this is the sort of thing that you can do with these lovely decoupage books. Isn't that brilliant? It's so nice. Absolutely love it. It's a very good rocker. Well done, Leanne. Thank you very much for that. Uh, okay, so... Let's continue on through this book. Remember, you get three of each of every single one of these sheets. So three of these base layers, three of the layers for that sheet, and three of the layers for that sheet. Um, all of these gorgeous frames as well. There's borders in here, the sentiments, as we said. Um, the lady there with the bouquet of poppies. You've got the, uh, the butterfly there. Absolutely beautiful. That's just a really good um, indication of the different styles there, isn't it? Because we've got the really contemporary girl and then we've got the more oldie-worldie uh, floral display. So Absolutely. it's really nice. Absolutely. Um, they're just so lovely. And I love the colours in here as well. Because uh, you, you instantly, when you think poppies, you instantly go red. Don't you? In your, in your mind. Yes. But they're all sorts of colours, oh, aren't they? Of course, yeah. I mean, California poppies are all different colours. Uh, a lot of them are, are yellow. Um, you know, you see them along... When I'm driving to and from Peterborough, I very often see a whole mixture of, like, wildflowers with poppies. Mm. Uh, they're very, very prominent. Um, they stand out the red ones and the yellow ones um, as you're driving down the, the A1 a lot of the time. Amazing. There's, there's a sort of more traditional field of wild poppies. Yes. Absolutely beautiful. Um, here we um, go. Look at those. Lovely. I like the way they've been incorporated into a different image as well, not just poppies. You know, we've got like a garden image there with, with poppies mixed in with everything else. So it's really Same nice. Idea. Absolutely lovely. Real so lovely. again, as we say, guys, you are going to get three of every single one of those sheets. You get 72 sheets in total and you can make 48 of those lovely um, decoupage uh, designs or decoupage toppers. Let me just show you a few of these cards and then we can go across to Sheila for our final demonstration of the day. There we go. Beautiful cards made. Uh, this was Lorianne Archibald. Thank you very much. There's that large one. Now, that. now that's beautiful. So they've taken the, the base there and popped it out and then the base and, and they've decoupaged that one up, but only the top one. But that's different, isn't it? It's really nice, isn't it? And you've still got another page full of images and, and layers, you Absolutely. know, because you want to use two of the base layers. And that was Leanne. Thank you very much. Emma has nice. made this one. There we go. I like the I like the use of the gems like at the top that. here, coming into the centre, drawing you into they the are, image, which aren't is very it, nice. It, it's very kind of Victorian. Oh, then sorry. I think it's like something you'd see on a film. I think in the background. Yeah, definitely. There we go. And that upside down one is always nice. There we go. And that one's even nice. <laughs> 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 I Sending like love that. and best wishes. So that's beautiful. That's What's an eight by eight, which is one of our favorite card sizes. Um, I know we are mixing it up because people do like all different card sizes, but that's very pretty. And isn't that using one of our, um, one of our eight by eight um, papers? Must from be. From one of the paper pads that Must we did be. with the poppies. So, you know, again, dig that out and use it. 
with that. It was it was the poppy backing paper from one of our craft sets. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. And Emma, thank you very much for that. Nice. Let's pop across to Sheila and see what she is getting up to. Okay, so I went through um, again the pad and picked out three and then I thought, oh, which one should we do? We've done quite a, a funky contemporary card with the um, zebras. We've also done something a little bit more oldie worldy with the, um, the, the manly moments. So let's do something with this beautiful image here, which is very, very dreamy. It's very beautifully um, illustrated. Um, and it's got some really nice effects that we like to do with our um, coloured pencils and our, our watercolour pencils and our gl glimmer mist where we spritz them and things and blend. So it's got that really nice um, tone in there. And I've picked out some of our watercolour wash matte-tastic, which again comes in those patterned um, adorable scorable packs. I thought the colours worked lovely. Now, you know me, I very often like to do the contrast where I put this on the green and then on the pink. But do you know what? I wanted it to be very soft, so I'm going to put the pink onto the pink and we're going to do the green in the background. Um, I really like this one because I like the fact that with the poppy um, selection you've got in here, why not grab some poppy seeds and put them into a shaker window? Um, this one will be perfect example or way to do that with this image, which you'll see in a minute. Um, but also, it would just be nice to make even like a pocket card and with the poppies and put some um, poppy seeds in, still in the packets, as a, like a gift and a card together. So why not try um, something like that or even get a, a bunch of poppies and, and make a little gift tag as well with some of the tiny um, layered elements that you get in on in the pad itself so okay so we've got our lovely pink on there and we've got our lovely green and then we've taken the border strip and we're going to pop this across the bottom of the card and then we'll trim off any excess that there will be so for this one i'm going to use there's a couple of sentiments in this one we've got sending lots of love and hope you get well soon so I'm going to make this as a get well soon card because I think sometimes we kind of forget to, to do a get well soon card. Um, so let's pop this across the bottom here, just making sure that's straight. And then we can trim off that excess piece that we don't need there. It's only a tiny little bit. And then we can start to put the layers on. So we're going to put this lovely pink layer on here first. Isn't that lovely? It's beautiful, isn't it? What a it's, pretty bouquet. It's gorgeous artwork. Um, it really is lovely. So, Susie Smith wants to say a big thank you, Dan. We gave her a, the hunky dory pencil last week. Oh, yes, yes, oh. we sent out the hunky dory pencil. I think I sent her a, a pen as well as a, yeah, a sneaky extra. Oh, nice. She didn't know that was coming, that's good. Oh, how amazing. The pen's lovely. And do you know what? The pencil is one of my most used pencils. And and what's really weird is I never never seem to have to sharpen it for some reason. Do you not? No, I don't think I've, I don't think I've sharpened it since I got it, um, which do, is really weird. It must be magic. Do you know why, magic. Sheila? Why? It's because the fairies sharpen it for you. The ones that live at the end of your garden, where they moved, after leaving me. Livid still. Still livid. <laughs> not get over it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, maybe they are. Maybe they're sneak sneaking in. Maybe they're sneaking got... in, sharpening yeah. your pencils, doing your hair. They're, they're pretty good, aren't they? <laughs> they're very good. See, it's, you know. Look at this, though. How lovely is that? You know, you could put that into a little, on a little card on its own. Uh, maybe into a little window or on a... A bit of mirror or something like that, die cut a circle or something it would fit into, but it's really beautiful. It's gorgeous artwork on this one. Isn't it, Josh? Yeah, so we're going to lay it It's a lovely on. mix of artwork, it isn't is. it? It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's really, really nice. Totally different styles in all all three of the pads. Toss up for me between the between this one and the perfect planet, but I think it's this one as well. I think we've gone, we've gone, we just, it's got better as it's gone along. Really? Great, have it we, started off very well. Have we touched your uh, more kind of softer side here? I do have a very soft side. I know you do. I know you do. I have a soft front and a soft back as well, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> oh, dear me. Well, we, when we uh, was sorting out the demos this morning, I came into um, Emily and I said, what order are we doing the demos in? She said, um, we're doing the Manly Moments, then we're doing the Perfect Planet, then we're doing the um, Precious Poppies. I said, okay, so Manly, Perfect and Precious. That was how I remembered the order. And then when Dan came in, he said, so what, what order were we doing them in? I said, Manly, Perfect and Precious. And, uh, and then we, we realised, you know, it's a perfect way of describing Dan, isn't it? <laughs> 
on some days, on other days not, maybe. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't want it going to your head. <laughs> I, I'm not sure it'd be in that order. I think, I think Manly Manly would come a very, very distant last, I would have thought. <laughs> and perfect, I think, is um, stretching it. Yeah, but we're just being nice, basically. We'll I mean, if we get down to the nitty-gritty, we might have to change it totally. <laughs> Thanks, Sheila. Oh, dear. We're just having a bit of fun. We're just having a bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Very okay. good. Uh, Sheila's using our construction glue. We've been asked um, what glue she's using. The construction glue which is in stock. We've managed to um, to get some back from Sheila's house in a lorry. <laughs> um, from yeah, we had to tunnel in from the back of her house to get into those kitchen cabinets. Yeah, Do you know why? Course. Because she glued them all shut. <laughs> That's why. Honestly, ridiculous. I've got to hide this now. Nobody's getting it. It's getting out of control. <laughs> what, her love for construction glue is out of control. Um. Oh, dear me. When, when we, first, we first got it, we were like, is it, is it like silicone? What, you know, does it perform like silicone? Does it smell like silicone glue? And, and of course, I had a sniff and then Natalie did. And um, I was quite like that. It's quite, it's quite strong and it's quite, it's quite nice. And Anne-Marie's like, right, stop. Stop now. Put the glues down. Um, but we do love the construction glue, honestly. <laughs> Step away from the construction glue. So many people um, bought it last week um, on one of the shows I did at Create Craft. They were saying, like, it's 20% gone, right, 30% gone, right, 40% gone, 50% gone, 70%. I was like, whoa, 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 slow down. But that just goes to show how, um, how great it is, how versatile it is as well. I just love using it. Um, it really is. Fabulous, fabulous glue. And if you've not tried it, just grab yourself a bottle and then, you know, have a go with it. I'm sure you two will end up being kind of, um, you know, it's going to be your go-to glue. It's it's a great price as well. Am I right in saying, Emily, it's one, I think it's £1.99 per, per um, bottle and you can get six bottles for £9.99. Yeah. Which is brilliant. £9 which is fantastic. And it's, it's a consumable. You go through it. So, um uh, on the assembly, but it's it's really good. Yeah, definitely. Super stuff. And um, we we've got a question. Would you use silicone glue uh, rather than glue pads, um, Sheila? Me personally, um, no, and only because I'm quite sensitive, and silicone can be quite um, quite strong, and it and it can give me a headache. But there are lots of people who who absolutely swear by silicone glue. I mean, Barbara in the office uses silicone. Um, for all the decoupage and she shapes it and she sculpts it so it does look really really lovely um, but I am a bit of a 3D foam pad fanatic really I, I totally always have agree been with you. I'm I the always same, have been. and I think it's something to do with the fact that it's a definitive definite depth so you've got two millimetres, you've got one millimetre, you know where you stand, you know those layers are going to come out at the same sort of amount or level each time. Whereas definitely, with silicone glue, definitely possibly takes a little bit more thought, a little bit more care to get it exactly as you want it. Yeah, definitely. But look at the, um, again, the depth on that now. We've lifted it up. It actually, it, it's just amazing. Look at it. It's, it's glorious. I've used all the layers on there and it just it's just popping out of that frame. I'll put it up on the... Um, Matt here and then you can see it. I'll move it that way. There we go a little bit. But look how lovely that pops out. And there are a lot of people that like to actually varnish and use a gloss on their um, their decoupage to protect it. A lot of you like to put it in some of our dimensional card fronts. Um, you'd have to look at the sizes because they will they will differ and they will vary. Uh, but again, you know, something like this, if you've got glossy accents or something like that, you could just put little drips on the petals so it looks like there's a little bit of dew or water on there. So it really is um, worthwhile grabbing one of these books or all three of them if you want to. If you've never tried decoupage before, it's a great introduction um, and it's great value as well um, for the amount that you get in there. So, so get it and try it and then send us some pictures, show us what you make. How fabulous. And as we said before, guys, um, with the extra discount, so you use the code BIRTHDAY12 on any and all orders that you place on our website throughout this whole birthday week, and you'll get an extra 12% off, 1% for every year that we are. So that would bring that 28.77 down, I believe, to 24 quid. Cool. Something along those lines, which is fantastic. So that's only eight pounds each for those lovely decoupage pads. Um, guys, I think our hour is up. I think um, it is. I've really enjoyed today's show, Sheila. That's been so a lot of fun. Uh, thank you very much, Emily. Okay, a couple of things to let you know. 
First things first, um, or last things last, I don't know. Uh, okay, so this gorgeous Win It Weekly. Um, guys, get yourself in on this, Win It Weekly. It is your chance to win over 300 quid's worth of goodies. This is our rollover box. Um, there are uh, three, ans three possible answers to the question we want to know. Hunky Dory Crafts is 12 years old, but how old is Adorable Scorable? Is it A, four years old, B, six years old, or C, eight years old? Let us know. We do the spin the wheel every Friday, and we are going to spin the wheel again this Friday, absolutely, on our yeah. Thank Craft It's Friday show. Uh, we'll have given this away, which is the rollover box. The rollover box is a segment yeah. on, the, on the spin the wheel. It is. So we better start adding something new. Please, whatever you do, uh, spin the wheel this week, please don't be the rollover, because all it will have in it is this. <laughs> it will have gone from that, that, to this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, um, but it is a great knife anyway. If you do get it, congratulations. I think they might come at us with that knife, so we'll put that down. Um, okay, fingers crossed. Uh, TV schedule, Crate and Craft, um, as we said, tomorrow, 8.15 a.m. with... Is it 8.15? 7.30. 7.30. They've stuck an extra 45 minutes on Saturday. I'm not surprised. Really it's early. gorgeous. Okay. It's beautiful. Um, 7.30 a.m. with Sheila and the beautiful Peony Promise collection. I do know that there is a um, separate exclusive... Uh, magazine that is available for that, our birth, 12th birthday yeah. magazine uh, that you can get. It isn't part of Platinum, it's an extra one that we do each year. Um, we've added the product to the rollover uh, box. The next Facebook Live show is Wednesday. It's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday the 23rd as we take to the skies for our live launch show. Very exciting. Uh, Sheila, thank you for spending your time with us. Thank you very much. Everybody at home, thank you very much for spending your time with us. And Emily, we shall see you on Wednesday. Goodbye. Bye.